I'm Chip. Been in FTX for a little while. Um, my testimonial goes, well, I'll talk about this. This is Thunder. Um, it's a phenomenal product that Forever Green has as a protein meal supplement, meal uh, replacement uh, shake that I've been taking to try to lose weight and get back in shape. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But let me back up a little bit. Um, I was diagnosed with plantar fasciitis in my feet uh, several months ago. I was introduced to this strip through a, a, a good friend of ours, Mary, uh, Dr. Mary uh, Satan, and she put a power strip on my foot, and within a couple of weeks, the pain just seemed to go away. All right? But in addition to that, I had blood clots in my stomach. Um, a year prior to that, I was a personal trainer, working out, getting ready for a bodybuilding competition, and I was told I had blood clots in my stomach, and I nearly died from it. Um, it, it blocked off the pancreas from getting blood in the, in the liver, and literally, I was in ICU, and I was told, hey, your days of bodybuilding are over. Your days of, of, of life was practically over. So they put me on Cumanin and Warfarin. I was doing Warfarin injection shots. I was doing all those kind of crazy things. But once I was on the power strips, not knowing, you know, I was treating my feet, um, that was affecting my blood in the way that it was. My INRs, when I was going into the doctors, were saying, hey, what are you doing your diet? You know, I mean, <laughs> Your INRs are perfect. That's why I don't know. I have, you know, milkshakes and cake and ice cream and all the stuff I'm not supposed to have and personal trainers tell people not to do and doing all the wrong things. You kept me out of the gym for last year. I gained, you know, 45 pounds. I don't know. My diet's terrible. It's crap. And he's like, no, 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 something's wrong, you know. And then the lady came out of hematology. She goes, no, I've been doing this 33 years. There's no way you can have perfect INRs like that. So I got to thinking about it and I said, I don't know, you know. And then. I came back the next week with a friend of mine, she's a kidney dialysis nurse, and she wanted to hear what they were saying because she couldn't believe what they were saying. So she said, well, maybe, Chip, it's that power strip thing you got on your foot. I said, I don't know. She get, the lady's like, and the other doctor's like, what do you got on your foot? I said, well, it's this natural thing that this, you know, you know, lady gave me, this other doctor gave me for plantar fasciitis to see if we get the pain to go away. So I showed them that, and then they went back, and they came back about an hour later and said, you know what? Keep wearing those because that's actually what solved your, your matter of fact, your sign here and sign here. You're, we're releasing you from Cumanet and Warfarin. Now, we're going we're gonna to keep you, you know, looking after the next, next month or two, follow you with blood tests and everything else. Each week I was going in for an INR exam, you know, another blood test, an MRI. Went in for the MRI that showed the vein that was completely closed before that literally was now open, blood flowing perfectly through it, right, in the SMV vein, right? And by the way, I also had a blood clot in my chest, too. So all of that happening, again, working out in the gym was over. Dave and Joy and a couple other people saw me at the ribbon cutting in, on June 27, 28, and 29, up in, uh, you know, in Utah. And at that time, I could barely put a suit on. I was really overweight. I was 275 pounds. Um, the doctors, I'm still waiting for them to tell me, oh, you can work out again, and that kind of thing. On August 12th, or actually August 11th, it was a Monday, Went over here to Dr. Ray Adamchek over here in Melbourne on 192. He said, Chip, you're now ready to start working out. You can go ahead and start working out now. So on August 12th, I started working out. I weighed in at 263 pounds. I'm now 227 pounds. Wow. All right. Um, I gained an extra eight, no, well, nine now, nine pounds of uh, body mass and, and muscle mass. Um, so I'm phenomenally grateful with the power strips and what it's done for me. I do wear them in different places, like I got one on my tricep now, worked out this morning at LA Fitness before I got here. Now to hold in place, I got this fanatic tape to help hold it in place because guys, when you work out, you'll sweat it off, you know. But it gives you extra um, mobility and workout strength while you're working out. But the biggest and most important thing is, is that it's the recovery factor, your DOM factor, the two days later where you, you're so much pain you can't go back to working out. This actually takes that away. By me wearing this and wearing it all the time in the areas that I trained that day, or like when I did chest, I got cut a couple pieces off here, one on one pec, one on the other, and literally I have more workouts, I, I feel more pumped, and again, I don't have the pain two days later. The biggest and most important thing is trainers, you all know this, all your clients come back and tell you, hey, I'm in too much pain, I couldn't make it that day. Can't make it this day, can't make it that day, because they're in pain. Well, the power strips take away the pain, right? Power strips do amazing things. 
And yes, I take the solar strips too. I'm out of them. My friend Deborah said, you got a solar strip? So she only get one, you know. <laughs> but uh, the solar strips are your natural food. They're your food replacement. You don't have them like, like Diane was saying. And I take that twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. And now the doctor, he came back, he said to me last week, he said, Chip, I just don't understand it. I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, an average guy at 48 should have a testosterone level of 500 to 700. Low is 250, or, is 250 is real low. You're at 80. You should not be existing. Your pituitary gland is not producing natural um, you know, uh, you know, hormones to help you heal. And how in the world are you doing what you're doing? It's impossible. You have less than 50 on the reading charts for your um, uh, natural hormone, gro hormone growth replacement. So your pituitary gland is not working right. So we're gonna have to put you on something like that. I said, well, you know, I've been on this power strip now, and remember it's doing all this and all that. Why don't we just leave it on the power strip to see how that goes? He goes, yeah, we might as well. I mean, it's been doing everything else already. Maybe that will do it too, because that's the only thing I can think of that can keep you active, working out sometimes twice a day, and lose the weight you lost, and feel as good as you do. So thank you again, uh, Reverend uh, Ron Williams and, 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 and his entire team. Thank you very much for the, the amazing power strips and the, the chocolate thunder, the solar strips. I haven't done the beauty strips. Maybe that will make me look prettier now. <laughs>